So today we are at Miller's Reserve, which is a new community built by Keystone Homes in Winston-Salem. I am Kristen Brown and this is Stephanie Lee and we are realtors in North Carolina. We are going to tell you the prices of the homes at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned until the end so that that way you can figure out if you're correct or not. And we're going to show you five of their model homes, so let's go take a look. Let's go. So today Stephanie and I are at Keystone Homes in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and we're going to go have a look at this really awesome four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,600 plus square foot home. So come on, let's go check it out. So we have this nice wide front landing and this nice area here where you can have like a couple rocking chairs, but there's enough space to be able to do that. And then we got this uh, nice stacked stone here. And each of these homes has a different elevation level. Elevation level means what you want on the outside of your house. Mm -hmm. And it's something that, um, that you can decide with the builder. Yep. So let's go in and have a look. All right. So we have these really nice luxury vinyl plank floors. And because these houses are so big, we're not going to show you every single room on this new construction tour. We're only going to show the kitchen and the primary bathroom. Prim or <laughs> we're only going to show the kitchen and the primary bedroom, primarily. All right, so coming back here, you walk into the great room. Over here, you have this really awesome gas fireplace, gas log fireplace, which on these cold spring mornings, like we're in right now, we're in like what I call spring's deception because it feels like it's still winter. So it's nice to have a gas log fireplace. You just flip the switch on and boom, it comes on. All right, so let's check out this kitchen, Stephanie. Wow. Ooh, yeah. I like the color. Yeah, I like the pendant lights that they have here. Mm -hmm. And then over here you have like your little coffee station so you can have your Keurig set up or have like espresso machine or a latte machine or whatever. And um, these cabinets, ooh, they're soft clothes. I really like soft clothes. So, yeah. you, so even if you're mad at your spouse and you or your kid and you try you to slam keep it, keep quiet. Yeah, <laughs> you can't slam it. So it's like, oh, okay. So the drawer doesn't. Okay. The drawer doesn't um, have soft clothes. Okay. All right. Then over here, so built in. We have this oven over here with four different racks that you can take out, and it's a little bit wider than some I've seen before. Mm -hmm. It also has on the side here, it says Wi-Fi wi enabled. So it must be like a smart Yeah, oven. I think wow. Keystone and some builders do have like smart home mm -hmm. set up. Yeah. Okay. And then here we have the microwave built in. Yeah. So that's Very a really nice. nice feature. Yeah. And this island is huge. huge. And it has over here on the other side, Stephanie, mm -hmm. it has storage. So you have more cabinet space ah. in your island. Sometimes with the island, they don't have any Allows. storage, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. This I like how this one has a lot of storage where you can put all your stuff. And this one, of course, there's a plug here. Yeah. Yep. And then you also can have bar stools here. And there's storage under the bar stool as well. Oh, wow. Yep. So you can sit here and have your morning coffee. That would be b the best. Yeah. <laughs> and not have to use the dining area. Yeah. All right, let's wow. come over to this awesome looking stove here. This is a, a Whirlpool stove and it's obviously gas. And then it has this uh, thing, almost kind of like a griddle. That's what it reminds me yeah. of. Yeah. So that's that's a super nice uh, Whirlpool gas gas stove. Yeah, and I like how the 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 backs up is all the way like. Oh yeah, the backsplash yeah, goes yeah. all the way up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So if you are a, uh, a an amateur chef or semi professional, this is like the kitchen for you because. <laughs> You have a gas stove, yep. and every cook knows that it's better to cook on gas than electric. <laughs> it was really hard for me to switch from gas to it's electric. It's harder to clean, but I do like the fire. Yeah, like yeah. the gas, like the, the it's stronger, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, yeah for <laughs> sure. And then it's very easy to clean this off, Yeah, you know, than having, if you only had it here, let's say, and uh -huh. then if you had something that splattered, now you got the splatter you up can the can easily clean here. it up. Yeah. Can you open the top um, cabinet? Yeah. Okay. So okay. So I'm, let's do a story. I'm five foot nine, just to give you some perspective, and I can't reach up there. 
Uh huh. So speaking of height, these are nine foot ceilings in this house. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. So it gives it a more open and airy feeling because we have these nine foot ceilings. Yeah. Well, and they matching. So the cabin tree is also slightly longer than some of the house that we have seen. Yeah. 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 That's true. So if cooking is in your future, or if a gas stove is a must, then feel free to give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, and we'd be more than happy to show you any of the homes that have gas stoves. So let's go up and check out the primary bedroom. Okay, let's go. All right, so coming into the primary bedroom, we have like a vaulted ceiling up here. So you have all this space, right? And this looks like a king size bed and yep. these are oversized or long nightstands. Nice. Yeah. So there's a bigger nightstand here. Yeah. Yeah. Then over here you have this really big massive massive, I think. It's massive yeah. walk-in closet. Maybe you've seen some that are bigger, mm -hmm. but I feel like this is a really good use it's of still space. Still a very good size. Right. Yeah. Already have some shelves. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. And then coming into the primary bathroom, we have two doors here. So this is pretty nice too, because you got these two doors. You can close off the primary bathroom. Oh, fire engine going somewhere. <laughs> and then you walk in here, you have this nice ceramic tile on the floor. <clears throat> and you have- Linen closet. Yeah, linen closet, double vanity sink mm -hmm. with undermount sinks. Mm. I love undermount sinks. Yeah, me too. You know, because that way when you clean, you it's can just easier. wipe it doop, right yeah. in. And it doesn't have like that lip where things can get caught and get kind of gross over the years. Yeah. And then you even have more storage in here. Mm -hmm. You got your water closet. But having a water closet's nice, especially because... A little bit more privacy. A little more privacy. Ah. And not only do we have that one linen closet, we have this one over here. Ooh. This wow, like, it goes pretty deep. It's really deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like almost another room. <laughs> and I love this standing shower with the tile. Yes. It goes yeah. really high. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And it also has this type of flooring here that's like a ceramic tile oh. kind of flooring, and then it's got a built in bench. So all of this is ceramic tile. Oh. It's not fiberglass. Oh. With some of the new builders and new construction, they put in fiberglass rather than having something like this with the tile. Mm -hmm. So that's a really nice feature as well. Nicely done. And it has a they didn't they did they also use your lights the area up there to make some let some sunlight in, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. So if this type of shower is a must on your list, feel free to give Stephanie or myself a call or send us a text or shoot us an email. And we'd be more than happy to show you all of the homes that offer this type of setup. Here at Miller's Reserve in at Keystone Homes in Winston-Salem, mm -hmm. some of the included features are a nine foot ceiling, like I mentioned before, mm -hmm. nine foot ceilings, overhead lights in all of the bedrooms, for energy saving features, we have um, inter energy efficient Goodman natural gas furnace and central AC. Mm -hmm. Energy efficient rated insulation, which is R15 walls and R38 for the attic. It's on public water and sewer, sewer services. Okay. For interior features, comes with smoke detectors, stain release plush carpeting in a choice of your colors, a choice of colors, dense carpet cushion. For the kitchen features, it has flowing, functional, and efficient designs, Whirlpool package, Okay. sterling seven inch deep double stainless steel sink with Kohler chrome, pull out vegetable and pot sprayer. For the exterior features, comes with a two car garage, architectural 30 year warranty shingles, low maintenance designer vinyl siding, front sodded yard, aluminum seamless gutters and downspouts, and a division fence paneling to separate front and rear lawns. For the quality construction features, they use a soil treatment for protection against termites, and the wood they use or lumber is quality kiln dried lumber throughout. All right, the next home we're going to see is the Greensboro. So let's go take a look. Yeah. Point 
point out the elevation of this home. You can see that it's brick here on the front. And then we got a combination of stacked stone. And then we have vinyl siding that looks like board and batten up at the top. So it's a, a nice variation rather than being all one. And you can choose a uh, different stone type if you want, right? You do yeah. have an option. Yeah, they have elevations to choose from. That's what it's called is the elevation. Mm -hmm. So come in here. Wow, look at that. Ooh. That's pretty awesome. It's a high ceiling entrance. Yeah, really nice. So coming in here, you're gonna go through the formal dining room here. And it also has this nice trim along here. And it also has wider trim down here, mm -hmm. which is nice. Yeah. Nicely Come, done. Coming on into the kitchen here. It's a little bit smaller than the last home that we just saw, mm -hmm. but it still has this really nice island where you can sit. You can sit, <laughs> it's still a pretty good size, I would say. Yeah, and you still have storage here. Okay. We did find out that in this particular model that this is an upgrade. Okay. So someone could get this if they want, or they could just have it pre-wired. Uh -huh. So eventually they could have an island here if they, if they choose to. Okay. Then we got another gas stove, which is awesome to have a gas stove. Yes. And uh, just your standard built-in or space maker microwave oven. We and did the ask sales agent, is yeah. it an option? Yeah, so we asked the sales agent or the builder's agent if this was an option to change this out so it would all be in like we just saw in the last place and she said yes. Okay, nice. Also, I wanted to point out that we have an undermount sink here. Ah. Yeah, I love undermount sinks. <laughs> it's just so much cleaner. You yeah. Know, to wipe everything Easier in. Easier to and, clean. Yeah. 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 All right. So let's go look at the primary bedroom. Let's go. And we do have a gas log fireplace over here too. <laughs> This carpeting, Stephanie, is really nice. I like, know, really it's, thick. Cushy. Yeah, I looked on the um, the features sheet, and it has like a um, like a a thicker cushion. Okay. For the a thicker padding and for the carpet. That's nice. You can choose the carpet as well, right? It's an option too. Yeah. Okay. I believe too with this builder that if you want to upgrade and not have carpeting, carpet, you can do that. You can do that. Yeah. yeah. Or if you just want to do the stairs. Mm -hmm. They can, they have that option too. Right. Yeah. All right. Let's go check out the primary bedroom. Yes. So here we have vaulted ceilings, uh -huh. which is nice because it helps it to feel bigger in here uh -huh. with the vaulted ceilings. Yeah. And then over here. It's pretty big. Yeah. It's yeah. the walk-in closet. Let's see. And it's like, almost like a little room. Oh, it's pretty big. Yeah. And yeah. what's nice is because you have natural light yeah. in here which is nice. So I don't know about you, but like when I'm trying to find my clothes, clothes. in the morning, sometimes it, it's a little dark. <laughs> so, so it's nice to have an actual natural sunlight to come in and yeah. that way you can see like, okay, where are all my clothes? All right, so let's go check out that primary bathroom. So in the primary bathroom here, we have a double vanity sink. And this is like all one unit, so it's not undermount. Uh -huh. It just has like a little lip here, which is still okay. Yeah. You know, it's easy for cleaning. Mm -hmm. And then um, over here we have the stand-up shower, and you'll see that it's fiberglass. Yes. We did ask the builder's agent if this is something that could be changed out, so mm -hmm. it's tile, mm -hmm. and she said yes. So okay. that would be an upgrade if, if you don't want fiberglass. So you can change it to the bathroom that we just saw. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nice. All right. Oh. It Oh, second closet. Oh, wow, I didn't know <laughs> that. Is that? <laughs> so, yeah, another walk-in closet. It's pretty big as well. That's yeah. a white closet right here. And uh, linen closet. Linen closet. Yeah. So I, I like this builder. I like this builder because they always put a lot of storage space here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's take a look. That's nice. And let's take a look at the high ceiling entrance one more time from a different angle. Ooh. I also wanted to point out in this subdivision or this community by Keystone that they have, that they're going to have sidewalks throughout the community. That's nice. So 
be very dog friendly, right? Yeah, so be very dog friendly. <laughs> and I know like for myself with Bach, our doggy Bach, that I don't really like walking in my subdivision that does not have sidewalks because I it, we just saw the sod truck go by and I don't want, I'm respectful of my neighbors and I have a male dog and I don't want him lifting his leg and peeing on everyone's brand new sod. <laughs> so at least if it's on the sidewalk, I feel like that's more like common area, uh -huh. if that makes sense. Yeah. And maybe we got like a fire hydrant where I can train him to like actually go and pee on that. So if you would like to find out about other new subdivisions that have sidewalks in their subdivisions, feel free to subscribe click on the little button below and then click the little notification bell so the next time that we put out a video you are notified. The next house we're going to see is the Kendall model. So you can see that it has vinyl siding. Yeah. And then it has brick uh -huh. over here near the entrance. Uh -huh. So again, that's just a different elevation that Look. Yeah, it's just a it's a choice. So they call it elevations. Uh -huh. And I know that sounds weird, but that's the word they use. Yeah. So let's go in and have a look. Yes, let's go. All right, so coming in here to your right, you have the study with nice French, glass French doors. So you can use it like you, either as a study or a den. Oh. For example. I think Keystone also have an option where if you want to turn into a solid color door instead of a glass, you can do that too. Okay. And then you have your dining room here. And Can't also you it? have this tray ceiling here. Jesus. So. I would need to find out if that's an option or not. I'm going to say it is an option, but it may be included. <laughs> but that's something that you're, if you're super interested in that, then feel free to give us a call, send us a text, or shoot us an email, and we'll get that information for you. Cool. All right, let's go in here. We have a gas light fireplace again. Mm -hmm. And these floors are lighter yeah. than the ones that we just saw. I love this color. And it's, it has a little bit of like a grain feel to it. Mm. So it's some type of like luxury vinyl plank. Mm. And we've got the stairs here in the middle. This would be your dining area here. So our breakfast area, because this house has its own dining room over there. Yeah. And walking in here, we have all this counter space and we have white cabinets here. And then the island, this is like, Kind of like a bluish dark gray slate kind of color, mm -hmm. but we have the cabinets again. That's nice. And you can also Love sit here at the, at the bar if, if you want. And then we have more storage over here. That's this really nice long block island. That's which nice. Is, is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Very, very nice. Love the color too. And then here we have the pantry. Very good space. And then over here, I can see this being like your coffee station or, you know, espresso or latte machine. Or bar, or... maybe some wine will be great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe some wine, especially with all these vineyards we have around here. <laughs> Another, uh, this is a closet, looks more like a closet. I think good for coat closet. Yeah, coat closet, yeah. So this house is four bedrooms, three baths, and it's about 3,100 square feet and two car garage. So let's go look at the primary, primary bedroom. So you got this loft space here when you first come up the landing. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice if you have kids is that you can have that separation where you can have two family rooms. Yeah. Have this be like your playroom or homework station or media room or, you know, whatever. It's just Leave nice. the mess out of the... <laughs> yeah, it's just nice to be able to have, you know, that space. Um, I did see in their floor plan that this could be an optional fifth bedroom. Oh, yeah. Cl close it off. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So walk into the primary. Again, you have these vaulted ceilings. Yes, we love that. Yeah. Big walk-in closet. I don't want to mess the vacuum lines. They're yeah, so we're funny. not going inside. <laughs> and then we have these uh, French doors here that lead into the ensuite, so the primary bath. And this one does have a fiberglass tub insert. Again, you can have that changed out for tile mm -hmm. if you want to upgrade. upgrade. And then you have this nice garden tub. You know, it's kind of nice to have this because what a lot of builders have found out is that most of the buyers don't want a tub at all. Mm -hmm. They want like either an extended shower for the primary and they only want the tub for the kids. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to have your own garden tub, you could have this be an option. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you got your double vanity sinks over here, more storage and linen closet, and that's just the water closet. We don't need to show that to you. 
Well, let's go look at the next one. Let's go. Kristen, I have a question. Uh, what's this type of finish feature called? I think it's called wainscoting, but I'm not 100%. So if you know what this is called, please put it in the comments below. Now let's go to the map and see where Miller's Reserve is located in the Winston-Salem area. Okay, so let me just zoom in a little bit here. So here we have Winston-Salem. This is the city of Winston-Salem here. And where Miller's Reserve is located is in <clears throat> the outskirts of Winston-Salem. So you can see it's about 16 minutes from downtown Winston-Salem. And over here in Clemens, Clemens has a a uh, park I've mentioned before called Tanglewood Park. So let's see what the distance is from Tanglewood Park. Okay, so it's only 12 minutes to Tanglewood Park. And over at Tanglewood Park, it's an 1100 acre park that has lots of walking trails that are either through the woods or paved trails that's around the park. There's also tennis courts, a swimming pool, two lakes, a golf course, RV camping. And it's really my favorite park to go to is Tanglewood Park. So at Miller's Reserve, you're only 12 minutes away from Tanglewood Park. Um, let's see how far away it is from Costco in Winston-Salem. Okay, so it's 11 minutes to Costco. So that's really pretty close, right? It's only 11 minutes. Let's see how close it is to Wake Forest Hospital. Twelve minutes to Wake Forest, Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist Hospital. So it's a pretty good location in that respect because you're only 12 minutes away and you're in the outskirts of Winston-Salem. Let's zoom in a little bit closer here and see. When I drove over there the other day, it, I had a, it felt like a semi-rural kind of area. This road here on this side feels more um, like a country road to me. Let's see. So if we zoom in here a little bit more, this is where the community is over here off of Ebert, Ebert Road. And down here is to the elementary school. Friedberg Elementary School or Friedberg Elementary School. Maybe it's Friedberg. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Okay, now let's look at the actual community or what the community map looks like. All right, so here's Miller's, Miller's Reserve, and this is a rendering of what the community is going to look like. And I see a 95 here. So I'm going to conclude that there are going to be 95 homes built when it's all completed in Miller's Reserve. This is the Fairfield. We had to do this inside because of the sod being <laughs> delivered. And this is a four bedroom, three bath house. It's about 3,100 square feet, obviously two stories and two, two car garage. When you walk in here, you have an optional uh, study, den, living area. And then you got your dining room here. And Stephanie, wait till you see this. I gotta show you this, this is pretty cool. So down here on the first floor, there's a full bath. Okay. And then there's a the bedroom. Oh, Let me take a look. It can be used as an office too. Oh, that's nice. But if you have like your in-laws coming or guests coming and want that separation between them and you, you got it. And that's it's not nice. too big of a space. It's just the right amount of size for maybe like a queen size bed. This is a good size. Can... Yeah. Yeah. And then coming back into here, we're going to go over to the... Um, kitchen, uh, breakfast nook, and living area, a great room. It's all kind of wide open, one huge room. You could do like some ballroom dancing, or, <laughs> you know, something like that. Um, we got this nice island again, and I really love this feature, you know, because you've got so much storage in here, and then you can have your bar stools here, so you don't have to like mess with the breakfast table if you're trying to get breakfast ready quickly, or just like a quick snack, or have like friends over for like a charcuterie island. <laughs> I heard that like being a thing now. Um, you got your gas stove again, undermount sink over here. Mm -hmm. And these are espresso cabinets. We think that these are come standard, but we're not sure. So if you'd like to know if these are standard or not, feel free to put it in the comments and we'll find out for you. 
Then over here, this is an option to add in either a covered porch or a sunroom. Uh -huh. So this is your sunroom here that you could have for another living area or if you wanted to do a covered porch instead. I love this sunroom. Yeah, nice vaulted ceilings. And I like the fact that with this floor plan too, that the stairs are in the back part. Oh, you know, so yeah. When you walk in the front door, you're not being smacked in the face with the with stairs. stairs. <laughs> you're kind of like turned the other way. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I just think that that's a, a nicer way to do it, a nicer design. For some Chinese, it's a good feng shui. Oh, yes. Yes. yes you don't want, true. we try to avoid the stairs at the, facing the front. Yeah. And we need to have good positive energy, right? <laughs> All right. Let's go see the primary. Let's go. So at the top of the landing with this one, you have again, a little loft space where you could have this be like your media room, another mm. family room, kids play room, home workstation. It has many uses yeah. you know, that you could have. It um, also has a closet too, a little bit of storage area there. Yeah, That's That's nice. it has that too. And being that this is three bedroom, or no, I'm sorry, it's four bedroom. Mm -hmm. Maybe it could be, be made into a fifth bedroom. That's something that we would have to ask the builder. Yeah. So coming around here, we come into this really huge primary bedroom. I mean, wow. this thing is like massive. Look at this. It's like, I'm at like a pen, penthouse hotel room or something. I love this little area. I'm going to put a chair, armchair there. Yeah, so Small you can have like your sitting area here. If you just want to get away from everybody and want to curl up with a book or something, it has this nice area to be able to do that. We're still having space to be able to have your California king or king size bed or whatever. Yeah. And then you got a huge wall behind you, so you could easily hang a big flat screen TV there. And then you got these massive ceilings. Um, the only thing, like that Stephanie pointed out earlier, is that that light is way up there. Uh -huh. When that LED light runs out, which takes about five years, depending on how much you use electricity, but they say about five years according to the manufacturer, that. On the sixth year, or five years in one month, how are you gonna get up there to change that light bulb? Coming in here, you have his and her closets on either side, which I love that, having that separation. Oh, okay, almost identical, huh? Yeah. Same size, that's yeah. nice. So coming in here, you have your ensuite. So you have your linen closet here. I love how their closet is just very generous size, again, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's a standard size door. Yeah. And then your fiberglass insert okay. shower with built-in seating. And then you have windows up top. So even like someone like me being 5'9", mm -hmm. just for perspective here. So if you're in here taking a shower, right, and I'm 5'9", no one's going to be able to see me because that window's so high up, <laughs> you know, and it's not like there's a house next to you that's up on a hill that can look down. Yeah. So it's just nice to have that natural light. Please let us comment below and let us know if you prefer this uh, standing shower or you will need a tub. All right, next one is the Ellerb or Ellerby. So let's go in and have a look at this one. This one looks like a one story, but you have the option to add two other bedrooms on the second floor if you want. So you have this foyer you walk into. And this one's not completed yet, Stephanie, so we just have to watch our step. But when you walk in here, you have a coat closet here, full bath here with a single vanity sink. Mm. And then you have guest bedroom number one here and guest and bedroom two. number two here. Okay. So this one will be at a little price point, just a little hint, <laughs> because it's going to be less square footage. It's about 1645 square feet. Um, but you know, someone who's like either an empty nester or maybe a single person or someone who's just starting a family that wants to get into new construction, this might be an option. You know, so you walk down the hallway here. Over here, you have this really nice, large walk-in slash mud room. Yeah, laundry room. This, this is the closet. And you walk oh, in here, gosh. and this will be your kitchen. So again, you have this nice island here. Ooh. This big island, pendant lights, and then you have your stove and your attached microwave, built-in microwave. And this one has gray cabinets with an undermount sink. Still a huge countertop here. Right. Oh, yeah. island. And this is the pantry. Again, very spacious, lots of shelvings. And then your dining area is here. And then you got these nice French doors. Only one side opens. 
So it's still under construction, so all you're gonna see right now is dirt. This particular lot is a smaller lot, but at least you can see eventually what it's going to look like. So let's go over to where the primary is. And I think a, a lot of people, like I get a lot of calls from people who want the primary bedroom on the first floor, and this is an option because the primary is on the first floor. And it's a really good size primary. I mean, it's like, I don't have square footage oh, on wow. my head, but I mean, look at how Super long. <laughs> you're too is. far, Kristen. You're too far away. <laughs> and then you have a walk-in closet here. You still have nine foot ceilings in here with mm. crown molding. Mm. I don't know if the crown molding is an upgrade or not. Mm. Coming into the bathroom, you have your double vanity sinks. You do not have a water closet. That would go right here. And oh. then you have the tile shower with a built-in bench. All the way up and all the way down. Yeah, and this it just nice. has one like little lift here. It's not like a huge yeah. lift. Mm. So like this could even be a house for someone who wants to age in place. Mm. This isn't like a, um, a low whatever, it's but dead. it's just one step. Yeah. You know, it's not where you have to like lift your leg over like a tub lip or whatever you call it to get into mm. the particular tub. So this one does have the option to have bedrooms on the second floor as well. So let's go check let's that go out. Take a look. So you come up here and you have this big loft space here. So again, you can have a second family room, playroom, media room, homework room, hangout room, whatever. Oh, wine tasting room. And you got a full bath here. And then uh, that would be your access to your attic. And this door still filled with stuff. Yeah, this door <laughs> won't open, but we can kind of like stick the camera in there so you can see what the bedroom looks like. Okay, pretty nice, cozy room. Yeah. So and like, you're skinnier than me. <laughs> you're the door. I still have a closet. This is pretty nice. And these ceilings up here feel like they're eight foot ceilings, not nine. Okay. Yeah which is standard size. Yeah. yeah. Also, I just wanted to point out the doors. I love these craftsman style doors. See how the, how you have like the squares yeah. here. I love that. <laughs> I just think that makes it feel, even though it's brand new, it just makes it feel like a period detail. Yeah. Sort of thing. Ah, very spacious loft. You're still going to have like your, your basics and there's certain things that you can choose from, like your elevations you can choose from out front. Um, Lots of color, the sunroom, I heard. Yeah, it's, mm. it just depends. So mm. again, if someone's really interested, if you're really interested in this particular community, feel free to give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. We'd be more than happy to give you whatever information it is that we can give to you. So that concludes our tour of Miller's Reserve and these five model homes that they have. So I'm sure you're wondering, well, what's the price? I know that Kristen said that you're going to tell us what the price is. So house number one was the model home that we went into, and that one does not have a price yet. They're using that model home as their sales office. So I don't know when it's going to be for sale, but I don't have a price for that one yet. House number two is listed for 427 531 House number three is listed for $453,799. House number four is listed for $492,661. And house number five is listed for $375,990. Now these prices can change as time goes on and I don't have a crystal ball, so I don't know if the prices are going to go up or down. You're probably concluding that they're just going to keep going up, which maybe you're right. I don't know. Builders are always having incentives or closing incentives. So I don't really want to quote what those incentives are right now because they change all the time. So it's always good to just find out or ask what the builder incentives are when we go to visit. So what do you think of the asking prices? Comment below with your, what your thoughts are. If you're planning to relocate to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, or the surrounding area, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. We can set up a time to do a in-person tour of one of these model homes, or maybe a different home that you've seen in the area, or even a virtual tour. In the meantime, until the next video, we'll see you later.